Hey, in this video, we're gonna be talking about what it took to paint a 1993 Jurassic Jeep. I have never painted a car in my life. I barely paint doorknobs. I don't even know what that means. Today, we're sitting here at the computer. We're gonna get some stuff done. I'm gonna do some editing and you're gonna see the results coming up. The first part of paint was to do the hood and the doors and the trim pieces that you see here in the lower right of your screen. So I'm putting my, my paint suit on and then I'm gonna go around and I've got a paint prep solution and I'm spraying that on a rag and I'm wiping these parts down. If you're new to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button, maybe tap that bell, get notifications when I post new videos. It really mean a lot to me. Thank you very much for your support and your interest in this video. Just a lot of little pieces here, trying to get every single one of them before we start spraying. This next part looks kind of weird, but we're actually wetting the floor down because we don't want any dust being kicked up by us just walking around during that paint process. The final step for prepping is to go around with this tack cloth and get all the little bits of dust off of it because we don't want to seal those in. Ha! Now we're going to paint, right? Wrong. We're actually just priming it. We're priming it and sealing it. So we're sealing it from all the outside elements and we're putting a nice layer of primer on here too. You'll see that I'm done up like a, a weapons inspector and my neighbor Dave who was teaching me how to do this, he's been doing this his whole life, is just kind of in a sweatshirt. We're both wearing masks, obviously. So we're going through, we're making sure that this is coated just right, he's pointing things out and that's it. You will notice that we brought the heater in. It's over there on the right, and we're trying to keep the temperature up. This was December, it was cold in there, and we were really careful to not run the heater when the particles were all over the garage. For the record, I was fully convinced we were gonna blow up, but we didn't. So about an hour has gone by. The primer sealer has dried, and now we're running it over again with this tack cloth because we don't want any dust trapped in there. Wetting the floor down again, to help suppress any dust. And with a little last second instruction, we got paint going on. This is awesome. My thought was start with the underside of the hood. That way if I screwed it up, hardly anyone was gonna actually look at it. We're gonna go around and get the doors, get the side steps, get the fender flares. And this is that desert sand color going on and it looks great. I'm stoked at this point. These parts are tricky, so I went around and I double checked, I triple checked to make sure I was getting everything. I went back through, hit little spots that I had missed. And look at that. That paint went on great. This is one of the side steps right here. This is the other side step right here. And it went on so good, I was so happy with it. Keep in mind, I've never painted a vehicle. I've never seen color go on in a vehicle. And I'm really happy at this point. Our doors here do have some paper and tape on it so we didn't get the interiors, but those came out. Man, I just couldn't have been happier. And that wrapped up day one. So this is the next day. We're actually gonna tackle the body of the Jeep. We've got it all taped off. We've got it all protected. You see the heater going there in the top part of the garage to get that temperature up because we needed it to be at least 60 degrees in there. We're going around, we're prepping it with that paint prep. I'm giving it a wipe down here. When you're painting a vehicle, everything just takes time and you're seeing part of that here. And what we're doing today is we're doing the front side of the doors, we're doing the body of the Jeep. We're getting in all the little nooks and crannies. And it's so funny, that dark color actually looked kind of cool and it's just wiped down state as a final color, I kind of thought about that as we were getting it ready here. I thought, man, that's kind of a cool color. Right there, we're getting a few accessory pieces ready up there on the hood. So I'm gearing up in my full-on weapons inspector hazmat suit. I got to tell you, painting made me nervous. I wanted to be as protected as possible. You do a little reading about automotive paint, you hear about people with neurological problems, with lung problems, I want no part of that. And now we've got primer sealer going on the top of the hood, the outside of the doors, and the body of the Jeep. This is getting real now, it's like all the stuff that people are gonna see when they walk by or drive by. The rest of it yesterday, it was all hidden stuff, it was all practice stuff. 
So this is getting real now. Notice that fine paint cloud that's building up and that fan in the window is doing a great job. Now we're going back through and checking to make sure that we got every little spot, a couple accessories there. Just kind of going over it once here and just making sure we got it. Now this is the moment you've been looking forward to. This is the moment I've been looking forward to. We've got that beautiful desert sand going on and it looks amazing and I'm really stoked at this point. It's going on the hood, it's going on the outside of the doors, it's going on the body of the Jeep and it is looking so cool at this point and I'm just beside myself. I am so excited. I know you can tell because I'm in that hazmat suit but it's looking like a real Jeep at this point. Not that it wasn't real before, but it just looked like an old beater up till now. So my neighbor Dave, he's going around and he's evaluating like if I've got everything, if I'm missing anything, he's pointing out things to me. He's giving me tips on my technique. And here we've got the main body of the Jeep covered. We, we get out of there, we turn the heat on, we didn't blow up, it all worked out and uh, turn the fan off and we let it sit for a little bit. We're coming back in, we're double checking the work, seeing if any spots need extra spray on them, identified a few points that we wanted to make sure we really got the second time around and we're gearing up for coat number two. And there it goes. Not as satisfying as the first round, but here I'm getting everything that I missed, like all those little gaps and everything. I'm able to cover those. And it just looks, I can't say it enough, it looks really, really good. And that was a wrap on main body painting. A couple days later, we gotta start thinking about putting these fender flares and side steps back on. I got my good buddy Dale from Jeep Solid there helping me out. He's putting the fender flares on, working away at it, having some fun. Here we're gonna get the hood back in place. Not only are we making sure that the hinges are right, we're making sure that the end of the hood fits right the gaps are all just right because we don't want it crooked or anything like that because we got some red stripes that are going on soon here comes the tricky part it's getting those stripes just right so I use the information at jpmotorpool.com there's a reference guide there and you know I figured out what kind of measurements I needed what kind of angles I needed and then basically I just kind of winged it I just kind of eyeballed it I used those straight edges just to get an idea of like where that tape was going, speaking of that tape, that special striping tape, it doesn't allow the paint to bleed underneath it at all. So when you put that on, you can be sure that where the paint goes, the paint's going to stop. It wasn't very much, it was like four or five bucks a roll. And I only used one roll. It's kind of exciting. You're starting to see the, the start of that stripe starting to take shape. So now I'm measuring for the front part of the stripe because that's where the red is going to go in between those two orange pieces of tape. And I actually found this kind of relaxing. It was kind of fun. At this point, it's time for the hood tape to go on. And Dale says, nah, wait a second. I want you to put it on. I don't want to be responsible for it getting all crooked. So I said, okay, fair enough. So I ran it all the way across the hood, tucked it under. Once you've got the special striping tape on, you can actually put your normal painting tape up to the edge of it. So then you have something to tape the rest of the plastic to. And here's a really good shot of that. And we've got our JP18 stencil. I ripped the one a little bit. I augmented it with a little bit of the orange striping tape right there. Now skipping forward to where everything's masked off, all the stencils are in place. We're ready to put red paint on. Here we're actually tying the windshield to the roof right there so we can get to both sides at the same time. Here I am going full metal hazmat with my suit, my head scarf, my mask, my goggles. I'm ready to go. Heater gets shut off. We're giving it one last check over, making sure everything's taped off and looks good. I'm hitting the windshield frame with primer sealer front and back. And I'm going to hit the top of the Jeep where the air vent is with some primer sealer. 
little overspray on the desert sand part, that's okay because red is going on soon. Now I'm going back through, making sure I got everything I wanted to hit, and we're done, and we're gonna let it sit for an hour. So after an hour, came back, started mixing up the red paint, and then when it was time for red paint, it was a huge, huge difference. Giving it one little once over, hitting it with the tack cloth, and then here we go with red paint. And if I thought the desert sand looked good, the red just made the whole thing pop. Look at that beautiful red going on right there. It looks a little crazy when I spray the hood. Remember there's a stencil on there, JP18, and it came out great. This is the second coat going on. I was not shy about putting on the red. We actually did three coats of the red. I was a little worried it was gonna come out thick, but Dave, who was helping me, he was teaching me how to do this, said, don't worry about it. We're just gonna go ahead and put it on. We didn't give it very much time in between. It was only about 10 minutes in between each coat, so we just stood there and waited till the next time. Another trick about working on the striping, you don't wait very long until the last coat's on before you start taking that off because you don't want it bleeding underneath. You don't want any chance of that. So we went ahead and took it off right away. We were really, really careful. My hands got really red from taking the tape off and having the paint on the tape. So we began going around the Jeep methodically taking that tape off right after painting. So that's it. The Jeep is so clean, it looks like you could eat off it, but that would be dumb because paint's really bad for you. My name's Jason. Thanks for watching the video, and we'll see you next time.